The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, NCPC, moved another step closer to full implementation of the Security Interest in Movable Properties Bill, which was passed in Parliament in 2022. Director of the NCPC, Lisa Flora Montout, said the contract for the development of the collateral registry has been awarded to IOS partners, and a kickstart meeting was held in early February to discuss contract management, among other matters. We had a team of stakeholders visit St. Lucia in order to ensure the launch of the collateral registry. And so the NCPC has been the main collaborator in ensuring this implementation takes place sometime in September of this year. Founder and Senior Managing Director of IOS Partners, Robert Hans, said IOS has operated for the past 24 years providing consultancy and advisory support with a focus on international economic development. His team brings together expertise in information technology solutions for development, e-government and digital transformation. We've been involved with uh, a total of nine countries developing collateral registries or secure transaction registries. Uh, we have a number of our systems uh, operational around the world and this is in fact well around the world. Countries such as Laos, Brunei, Qatar, uh, others in the Caribbean. Funding for the development of the collateral registry came from the World Bank under the Financing for Tourism Competitiveness Improvement Project within the Ministry of Tourism. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Donalyn Viti, explained the importance of the registry to the tourism and creative sectors. It signals a lot of hope for those persons who didn't otherwise have um, immovable assets. And a lot of the creative industries and small businesses within the tourism industry who'd, who would want to take um, loans and look for different financing products so that they could improve their, their, their tourism products that invariably improve the destination. And most times, you know, that um, they need to have immovable assets. But this collateral registry brings hope in such a way that they are able to use movable assets assets um, to use as security. The International Finance Corporation, IFC, has been working collaboratively with the government of St. Lucia via the NCPC to ensure the development and implementation of the security interest in movable properties bill, which is expected to enhance financial inclusion in St. Lucia, fostering the growth and competitiveness of micro, small and medium enterprises. Ronke Amoni Ogunsulire is IFC's regional manager for the Caribbean. In addition to establishing baseline data, IFC will guide officials in implementing the software, develop robust statistical reports for policy analysis, and support the training of key stakeholders on the new secure transactions and collateral registry system. Initial capacity building sessions will target financial institutions, government officials, the business community, and creditors on the island. Vice President of the Sinusha Bar Association, Dean Lee, said his association supports the creation of the collateral registry as a tool that can accurately record security interest over movable property. Uh, but at least with this now, when you have a proper registry, you can track, you can record, and you can accurately take account of um, your collateral over movable properties. We have been the first in the OECS in ensuring the implementation of the collateral registry as well as the securities interest in movable properties bill. St. Lucia's collateral registry will be housed at the High Court. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting. We can provide you that immediately.